Hello, all my fit friends. Welcome back to Wow Body Now. We are gonna work on the glutes and hamstrings again today. Let's go. All right, let's begin like we begin every workout in our Blessed Body series. Give me a nice big inhale. And exhale. As you exhale, pull that belly button up and in even more. Another big inhale. Exhale with our mantra this time. I am so thankful for everything my body allows me to do. Okay, let's get nice and warmed up. So we're gonna start with a lateral squat walk, okay? So start at one side of your room. Get into that quarter stance, that nice athletic stance, and give me some lateral walks, staying in that nice like quarter squat position, right? Big strides from side to side. So check in with your posture. Shoulders are relaxed down and back, so you have a nice long neck. Pull that belly button in and then up, like a quarter of an inch, right? Imagine pulling it in and then up. Good. Okay, we're gonna do a whoosh squat. So you're gonna squat and whoosh. Give me those whoosh arms. Whoosh. So as you squat, I want you to drop your hips while keeping your chest up, right? Imagine directing your energy towards your pinky toes to help keep your knees nice and open and in line with your ankles. We want to avoid going knock kneed like that, right? Press your knees open. Good, hands behind your head, nice long legs, hinge forward and come up. Good mornings. You know I love to do good mornings in our warm up. Yesterday we had a good morning variation where we added a little bent over front raise. Such a great way to get a nice dynamic stretch in the hamstrings and then warm them up, warm up the lower back, the glutes. Good, we're gonna do a windmill stretch next. As you do this, I want you to keep your abs in, take the arms out, bend opposite arm to foot and then come up. Nice, so getting a little torso twist in here. Good. So I want you to practice your vacuums and your abs, right? You're tucking that belly button in the whole time. Whew. We're gonna get down on the mat here after this one. So go ahead and grab your mat. We're gonna do a half kneeling hip rock and I like to have it doubled up so I have a little extra cushion. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. So put, get down on one knee. The other foot is out, toes facing forward. Sit your hips back and come up. There you go, rock back onto your forearms and come up. So we're getting a great stretch through the inner thighs and up into the groin. As we sit back, good. Now this is a dynamic stretch because we're moving forward and back, right? You can do the stretch at the end of a workout as a static stretch and just hold it to stretch your inner thighs at the end of a workout too. I like to do that sometimes too. Okay. Getting a really nice warm up for our lower body because we are gonna work hard today, guys. We're gonna hit the glutes and the hamstrings hard. And just by nature of the lower body exercises we're doing, lots of the lower body exercises that you can hit the glutes and the hamstrings with, you automatically work the quads to some. All right, so just go ahead. I want you to just hold a single leg glute bridge up. So all of your weights on one side, tuck your tailbone under, squeeze the, the glute, just hold it. It's just an isometric hold here. If you're feeling it more in your hamstrings, it's probably because your foot is too far out. Bring your heel back in towards your butt, okay? Whoo! And just switch sides, <laughs> right? There we go. Now don't let your hips be down like this. Push your hips up, squeeze that glute, tuck that tailbone under, really squeeze that cheek, and just hold it. You're fighting gravity. Gravity's trying to force your hips down and you're actively pushing them up. Yes, come on. Almost done here. This is the last little part of our warm up. Activating the glutes, waking them up, getting them ready to go. Okay, so 
20 seconds to grab your heaviest kettlebell. And we're gonna keep the mat down because we're getting some bonus abs today too. I haven't told you that yet. Bonus abs today too. We're supersetting 30 seconds of an abs exercise with each lower body exercise. So give me a B stance. Have that front leg out as your kickstand. And give me some B stance RDLs. So that kettlebell, you're hinging just like you do in the good morning, a slight bend in your knee, but the leg is mostly straight. Look out in front of you some, keep your back really long and erect as you hinge at the hips and slide that kettlebell down towards the ground. 90% of the weight is on this leg right here, the kickstand leg. You're just resting the toes there for help with some balance. Switch sides. The other foot is now your kickstand. Shoulders back, abs in, leg this long, a slight bend in that knee. There you go, push the hips back. So I want you to think about keeping a nice long neck and spine, right? Keep your shoulders back away from your ears. Keep that belly button coming in. If you really feel a strain in your lower back, it's probably because your abs are not working hard and squeezing hard to support your good posture. So really pull those abs in to support your spine and your back. You just have 15 seconds to get down on the mat and we're just gonna do 30 seconds of a pulsing toe, -tup toe touch crunch. So extend your legs up, arms come straight up, pull that belly button up and in, tuck your chin and pulse, pulse. Try to tap your toes or maybe you can go a little bit past your toes. Try to get your legs as long as you can and you'll get a little bonus stretch in the hamstrings that just worked. Exhale every time you crunch. Come on, fit friends. You got this. I forgot to turn my fitness tracker on. Oh no, let me do that now. <laughs> I'm always forgetting, always forgetting. Okay, we have 30 seconds to rest, recover, sip some water. Then we're gonna do that superset one more time. So get up, walk around, breathe, sip your water. Oh, time flies. We have 15 more seconds. Mmm, that water is nice and cold. I like it. So, I'm gonna start with the back foot as my kickstand this time. 90% of my weight is on this front leg here. Here we go. Abs in, shoulders back. Okay, feel the stretch in your glutes and hamstrings. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Now contract them, squeeze them on the way up. There you go, nice and slow and controlled on the way down, strong on the way up. 90% of your weight on that front leg there, that working leg. Good job, good job, good job. Whoo, you got this. Keep it up. Switch to the other side. Get that kickstand, abs in. Shoulders back, chest open, nice long neck and spine. So you want your gaze to be out in front of you some, not down at your toes the whole time. See how that makes your neck out of alignment with the rest of your spine? Keep your neck in alignment with your spine. Keep your gaze out in front of you to keep proper alignment through the neck and the spine. And just keep working. Yes. Good job, good job. Good. Okay, we're gonna do that toe touch crunch. <sighs> Lay down, press your lower back into the mat, extend your legs up, arms come up, pulse. <sighs> so the pulsing motion, it's constant tension. Don't let your shoulders touch the mat. <sighs> Keep your head and shoulders off the mat the whole time. <sighs> Pull that belly button in the whole time. Try to get your fingers past your toes if you can, but don't cheat and do this. Keep your legs nice and long. Force yourself, yes, to really crunch. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Oh, okay, so we're going on to a new superset. Let me show you real quick. I don't know if I can do it with 35 pounds. Let's see. 
So we're gonna do a kettlebell combo. It's gonna look like this. A regular swing, squat, and a squatted swing. Yeah, I can do that. So if that's too difficult, you just keep it to the traditional Russian swing. If you're ready for a challenge, do a Russian swing and then a squatted swing. Okay, your choice. Here we go. So traditional swing. Okay, here we go. Traditional swing, squat and swing. Are strong the whole time. Oh, yes! That gets the heart rate up too. Now this y'all has a challenging abs one. It's gonna be hollow body rock. Beginners, you can just do an arms up crunch like this. If you're ready for more of a challenge, give me your hollow body position and rock but you're not using your legs and bringing your legs up and down. The legs are just moving because you're sitting up here. Your abs are controlling the motion. You're not really changing the, the angle in your hips right there with your legs. If this is too much, you just do that straight arm constant tension crunch. Okay, 30 seconds. We're gonna do that swing combo, or you can just keep it to a Russian swing, that's okay too. And we're doing three sets of this one. So we're getting ready to start set two of three. I have my secret weapon. <laughs> a little caffeine to get me going this afternoon. Okay, here we go. Abs in, shoulders back. Here we go, squeeze the glutes like crazy every time to push that weight forward. Abs are in the whole time. You're not lifting the weight with your arms at all. The kettlebell is moving because of how strong you're pushing those hips forward. Okay hollow body rock or constant tension straight arm crunch again, but with your feet down this time, okay? Oh my goodness, my heart is still racing. Chin tucked, arms extended, legs extended, and just rock. You want to use your abs to control it. Not really kicking your legs or anything like that to get going. Try to keep your arms right next to your ears. Right next to your head. Keep that belly button tucked in. Ooh. 30 seconds. How are you doing? Oh, let's sip some water. Thank you so much for being here. Why don't you take some time right now to thank your body already for everything you've done, right? Thank you, body, for allowing me to do everything in the workout so far. Appreciate your body right now in this moment. All right, whew, I was talking too much. No time to really drink. Let's go, last set, best set, let's go. I forgot to time a little transition in between these two exercises here. So get right down onto your mat, right down and into it, right down and into it. Sorry, I forgot to time programming the transition time there. That's okay, a little challenge. Keep that belly button pulled in, chin is tucked slightly, arms next to head, legs nice and long. Your abs are controlling the rocking. Oh. 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 
Okay, so we are gonna do a skater lunge. And for the skater lunges, I like to use my rolled up mat as a target to hit my knee on. You can use a pillow. If, you, if it's hard for you to really get low, you can use a step or something higher. And you, if you're a beginner, I would start with no weight. I'm just gonna have 10 pounds. So with this skater lunge here, you are just going to go down, tap your knee down and across. It's kind of like a curtsy, but you're trying to land your knee towards the floor instead of stepping back onto your foot. It requires more balance and patience. So go nice and slow and controlled. Whew. Good. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Same thing, other side. Check. So go ahead and check with your posture, shoulders back, abs in. Here we go, focused. Go slow, be patient with it. Come up, if you need to tap your foot down as you come up to kind of check your balance, that's okay. But try not to. So you're keeping your abs really engaged. Pull that belly button up and in, right? Or in and up. Ah. Good, good, good. Almost there. Whoo, we're almost there, fit friend. Come on. Okay. So we are gonna do a plank variation. We're only doing two sets of these. So this set in the plank, we're just gonna stay on the same leg. So go ahead and get into your plank position. Take one leg, extend it out. Abs are crunching, pull your knee up towards your armpit and then back out. So you get a C curve right here in your spine and then extend into a nice, beautiful plank. Come up, pull it up, pause, and then extend. Crunch it in, crunch it in, pause, extend it out. Find that C curve in that spine, pause, extend it out. Good job, keep going. Pause up in there, extend it out. Bring it up and pause. Okay, so there's our 30 seconds to rest. And we have one more set of those. Let me get a little of my monster and then a little of my water. So. Okay. We're gonna get going. Get focused, abs in, chest open, shoulders back and relaxed. Here we go. Take it into that skater squat. Come up. If you did the, the June COVID revenge body challenge, we did the skater squats in one of our workouts. So these aren't completely new to you. If they are completely new to you, or if this is just the second time you're ever doing them, be patient with yourself. If you feel like you're wobbly or if it's really hard, that's okay. That's okay. Every time you do them, it'll become a little bit easier. You'll become a little bit um, more coordinated and more balanced and better at it. Okay. Same thing, other side. Get focused. Ah, shoulders back. Nice long spine. Here we go. Oh my goodness, I feel it so much in this working leg. Ah, I lost my focus, I'm sorry. Okay, so we're gonna do that plank exercise on the other side, okay? I'm turning this way. This front leg is working. Ready, get into your plank. Okay, shoulders are tracking right over the wrist. Tuck, find that C curve in that spine, tuck the shoulder up or the knee up into the shoulder, pause and then extend it back into that plank. Oh, there you go, extend. Crunch and pause, extend. So you're trying to aim your knee up into your armpit. 
Yes, not just to your elbow. Pull it and tuck it up the, towards your armpit. And extend. Squeeze, crunch those abs. Extend and hold. Nice. Okay, so we are moving on to a glute bridge variation. Okay, my fit friends. I'm gonna grab my heaviest kettlebell again. I'm gonna use it as extra resistance. We're gonna start with traditional glute bridges. Okay, heels are tucked back. Push those hips up and down. If you have it right on your pelvis bone, it's not gonna feel good. I have mine resting on my lower abdominal, um, lower abdomen, just above my pelvic bone right there. We are gonna pulse it out here in under 10 seconds, okay? It's gonna be a constant tension, pulse, pulsing glute bridge. Okay, here we go. Pulse, 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 constant tension. I am sweating like crazy. I feel like I'm glistening a lot here. <laughs> Come on, pulse, 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 nice. Okay, don't get up because we're gonna do our abs exercise, which is gonna be a clapping bicycle. So you know how you usually do a bicycle crunch and you have the opposite elbow going towards the knee? Now we're just gonna clap our arms under our knees. So clap and switch. If you're a beginner and it strains your lower back to have your feet up the whole time, it can look like this, okay? You can tap your heels down on the floor in between with slightly bent knees. Try to get as much of your back off the mat every time you clap. Try to clap towards your heel, not just to under your knee, but all the way to your heel. You see what I mean? Okay, you don't really have to get up if you don't want to, but I wanna grab a sip. <laughs> a little bit of that, a little bit of my water. Okay, let's do that glute bridge again. Whew. Are you ready? Get set. Let's go. Whew. So I want you to think about really tucking your tailbone under, boom, squeezing your cheeks like crazy to get a full hip extension right there. I'm keeping my rib cage down and then really just tucking my tailbone under and squeezing the glutes like crazy. And here's that 15 seconds of pulsing. Pulse, 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 oh, pulse. Come on, pulse, 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 pulse. You got it, fit friends. Almost there, almost there, nice. Okay, 15 seconds. Then we're doing the clapping bicycle. Again, try to get as much of your back off the mat as you can. Try to clap towards your heel, not just barely under your thigh. Just do the best you can, okay? There we go. Thank you, body, for allowing me to do this bicycle crunch. Right, we're finding time to appreciate our body and everything it allows us to do. We are loving on our bodies. Yes, that's why we work out, because we love and appreciate our bodies and we wanna take care of them, right? Okay, we have one more set. One more set, last set. Did you say it? Best set! <laughs> okay. Go ahead and lay down. Back is flat. Killer mindset is on. We're gonna have a killer set here. Give me your best effort. Heels back in towards your butt. And then tuck that tailbone under. Squeeze those cheeks like crazy every time you push that kettlebell up. Oh, 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 oh. 
Good job. Exhale as you push it up. You got it. Even if you're just doing it with body weight and no additional weight, that's okay. As long as you're giving me your best effort and really feeling it, pulse it out here, pulse. Mm -mm -mm. Let's go, let's go. Good work. Getting ready for those clapping bicycle crunches. Where are you aiming your clap towards? Towards the heel of the foot. Pay attention to how much of your back you're trying to get up off of the mat, okay? Here we go. Beginners, you are tapping the heels down. Remember, you have that option. Difficult, but we're doing it anyway. Come on. <sighs> okay, so we are done with the kettlebell portion. We're gonna do a three minute banded booty burnout, y'all. It's a little circuit, and we're only gonna go one time through. I want you to get your band on. If you don't have a band, no worries. Just do everything we're doing, you know, without the band. And if you're somebody that doesn't have a band, you can get very affordable bands on Amazon. I highly recommend you getting them. Okay, we're gonna take a little drink here. We're gonna start with an eccentric squat. So eccentric means for the squat as you go down. We're gonna go down in three slow counts and then up in one strong count, okay? And we're gonna do that for 45 seconds after I take this drink. Okay, you ready? Here we go. We're gonna go down, two, three, and up. Down, two, three, and up. Press on the band on the way down, and just as strong on the way up. Down, two, three, and up. Down, two, three, and up. Down, two, three, and up. Down, two, three. Press against the band. Right now on the way down, just as strong on the way up. Down, two, three, and up. Down, two, three, and up. Come on, fit friends, you got it. Burning out the glutes, come on. Down, two, three, and up. Down, two, three, and up. Okay, 15 seconds to rest. Get on your mat. We're gonna do prone froggers, okay? So, I'm keeping the band. I'm actually gonna bring the band just above my knees. Soles of your feet together, hands on your forearms, press your hip bones into the mat, squeeze your glutes, and pick your thighs up off the mat. See right there? And down. And down. Push your hips into the mat, squeeze your glutes, and then rest it. Try to get your thighs off the mat. The soles of your feet are connected and together. Knees are nice and wide and open. Come on. You got it. Okay, so we are going to press against the band. Try to keep your feet like the width of the mat. We're gonna do an isometric leg extension. We're just gonna rest our forehead, pick up our legs and try to hold it there. Press against the, mat, the, um, the band, pick your legs up and just hold it. The band's gonna wanna let you bring your legs together. Don't push against the band the whole time. Pick your thighs up off the mat, squeezing lower back, glutes, are squeezing so much here. You're gonna feel a little bit of hamstrings, but mostly in the glutes there. <sighs> Press against the band, pick the legs up. Just hold it, hold it, hold it. Come on, fit friends, it burns, but we're doing it. Yes. <sighs> okay, what's next? Okay, abduction in an iso frog pump. So, you're going to have your heels together, knees wide, and we're gonna push our hips up and hold them. And then we're going to press against the band. So an isometric frog pump, but then press against the band. Little tiny pumps, open, 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 open. Squeeze the cheeks like crazy. Push that tailbone up and under. Push those hips up. Come on, come on. 
Oh yeah, you got this. Come on, come on. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Fantastic work. Okay, go ahead and take this off. We are gonna do a supine figure four. Let me start that over so we don't miss any time there. So we're starting to cool down here. Cross one leg over the other. You're laying down, face up. That's what supine means. And then hug that knee up and in. You're gonna feel your hips and your glutes. Doesn't that feel really good? We're holding it for 30 seconds. As you feel your hips release and loosen up, hug it in even more. Increase the stretch. That's what you have to do to improve your flexibility over time. You can't sit in the comfort zone. When you feel your muscles relax and release into it, increase the stretch. We're gonna switch to the other side. Ah, what's next? Let me look. Okay. We're gonna sit up after this one. Just enjoy this stretch. When you feel your hips release some, hug it in even more. Oh, keep that foot flexed there. Doesn't this feel so good? It does for me. <laughs> Don't skip the stretch. <laughs> Always stretch with me after. Okay, and take time to do our weekly full body stretch at least twice this week. So I want you to cross one leg over the other. Hug it in, we're getting the hips, and then a really nice spine twist here. Gonna feel a little bit into the hamstring too, lower back. <sighs> Hug the knee in, sit up tall, and twist. <sighs> good, good, good. Same thing, other way. Oh, here we go. Ooh. Hug the knee in, inhale, sit up taller, exhale, twist even more, and pull that leg in even more. Oh, yes. Okay, we're gonna do a seated forward fold. Have your legs nice and long. If you need a slight bend, that's okay. I'm gonna start with a slight bend. Keeping your spine long, hinge forward towards your toes. And then slowly try to straighten your legs out as much as you can while keeping your back long and erect. Shoulders are pulling back away from your ears. We're gonna be here for a minute. So as you feel your hamstrings, lower back and glutes release, Try to go even further. Try to straighten out your legs even more if you have a bend in your, in your knees still. Extend, extend, extend forward. Push your chest towards your knees, towards your toes. Oh, we're almost there. Okay, I want you to find your most comfortable spot, whether you're seated or laying down. We're gonna do our minute meditation. Find a nice comfortable position. Give me a nice big inhale and exhale. Inhale. Close your eyes as you exhale and release that tension in that exhale. Be really present right now in this moment. Notice the sounds around you. Notice the temperature of the air and how it feels on your skin. Notice the points of contact that your body is making on the ground. Notice your heartbeat and your pulse. listening for all those noises that are going on in your household right now around you, not thinking about anything else. 
except noticing and being really present right now in this moment. Inhale, and on the exhale, we're going to repeat our mantra for this week, okay? Nice big inhale. And exhale with our mantra. I am so grateful for everything my body allows me to do. Nice and easy, open your eyes. Kind of wiggle your feet and toes. Slowly make your way back up to standing. And give me those virtual high fives. You know I'm gonna ask for them, right? Virtual high fives, fit friends. Another workout in the books. Another great time together. Thank you so much for joining me. If you feel like you need an extra stretch, do the full body stretch for the week, okay? Make sure you get that in at least twice this week. Meet me later on Instagram or right back here tomorrow for our arms and abs workout. It's gonna be awesome. Until we meet again, whether on Instagram or right back here, I want you to always remember, no excuses, no regret, just sweat. Bye, fit friends.